Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns crew. Today, I am with somebody who you might not have seen. I haven't showed her much on my channel, but I've owned her for years and years. She is a ragdoll inspired reborn on a cuddle body. And she was created by Aaron of Candy Love Sparkle. And I love Aaron's work so much. Um, I own many of her dolls, and she is the only person I will trade with. So <clears throat> she's a very dear friend, and she lives in Canada. But she made, oh, she does amazing alternative work. I'm trying to set this car down somewhere. <laughs> She is so beautiful, and she does have like a yarn wig, which is sewn on like that. And she has her, like, let me just show you. <laughs> She's so amazing. She is so beautiful. So I've named her Poppy. Look how gorgeous she is. And she, um, Erin first made, like, a Raggedy Ann doll, and I lost out. She actually made a couple of Raggedy Anns, but, and then she came out with this one, and it's more of a multicolored, um, rag doll inspired, and look how she did her cloth body. So, um, she came with a wonderful box opening, too. Like, oh, this is sewn on. But Poppy is gorgeous. I love, I love her yarn wig hair that Erin made. And I love her face details. <laughs> but mostly, I wanted to show Rebecca my rag doll. Because she also likes Raggedy Ann dolls. And I love Raggedy Ann myself. I had a Raggedy Ann and a Raggedy Andy growing up. And, um, but when Erin was selling her Raggedy Ann, I didn't have the funds at that time to purchase her. And I missed out, I can believe. But then she was selling this one. And I'm like, yes, I want this for sure. So I made it happen, and I named her Poppy. So this is Poppy. <laughs> I just don't show her very often because a lot of people, when they first see her, they think she's a clown, and a lot of people are scared of clowns. So I didn't really... I got a lot of dislikes on my videos back in the day for my alternatives, but uh, so I didn't really show them. Very well. I, my alternative collection is quite large, actually. Um, I keep them all in the bedroom, too. But I don't think I have any alternative. Oh, uh, my alien baby is in here. She's the only alternative. But I like. I have like a rag doll. I have pixies, pixie fairies. I have fairies. I have um, zombie babies. I have. Um, Oh, a ghost baby. Um, I have a mummy. A vampire baby. <clears throat> so, I'm probably forgetting a couple, but... Oh, alien baby. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm here to do the five question check by Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you so much for all your fun tags. I am having a lot of fun on your channel. If you haven't checked out Rebecca's Cloudkins Reborn Nursery channel, I will definitely link it always. I always link it below and check it out. She's so much fun. <laughs> and I can't believe how much we have in common. It's like, wow, another new bestie. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, a five question tag, dream to dream. Starring Poppy and me. So, yes, and I also do wear reading glasses. So, <laughs> let's get this on. Number one. If you could become a fairy godmother and grant one wish, what would it be? That's why I wrote down. I think she worded it a bit different. 
please check out her video and listen to her answers. It's quite interesting. I didn't even think about it. By the way, Rebecca, you mentioned that you were 51. I am 50, turning 51 in February. So shout out to all my fellow Aquarians out there. Anyway, <laughs> and by the way, I ramble. Yeah. If you become a fairy godmother, what would your one grant wish be? You know what? You know how everyone is always talking about world peace? Like in the beauty contest, beauty pageants and whatnot? Yeah, I would grant that wish, world peace, because it never actually ever happened, did it? So world peace. Number two, imagine you have a time machine and you could travel to any era to visit and pursue a dream. What era would it be? To be honest, um, I know there was a similar question to, uh, to her previous tag about which era would I like to visit. And I mentioned the medieval times. But to pursue a dream of mine, I would pick the future. And this kind of future would be a dystopian type of future because there's a huge part of me that really, I don't, I'm trying to put it into words. I thrive off of survival situations, I guess you would say. I love dealing with adversity it's just a part of <laughs> that sounds so weird though but you know the movies the end of the world uh war of the worlds um deep impact uh independence day uh those kind of movies where or even like 20 28 days later 28 um, weeks later <clears throat> those kind of movies not because they're zombies or anything it's just because of the um, adversity of the human illnesses that people can be infected with I don't know I just love those kind of movies and I would love to travel to time travel to a future where the earth is in shambles like that and surviving and helping others and that's that's what that's a dream of mine that i i thrive i love those kind of dreams when i mean they're scary of course but i i don't know i just i just love dealing love the thrill the adrenaline of like, let's do this, help others, and survive. I love that. So, <laughs> did you know that if I didn't become a teacher, I would, I was this close to joining the military. So, yeah. That should say a lot. But a dream of mine was to join the military. And I chickened out, um... My personality is kind of shy and timid, so <laughs> although my, the inner me just loves that kind of stuff, but <laughs> anyways, here I am rambling. Number three, you think it is for only five questions, right? <laughs> if you could have any celebrity as a mentor to achieve your dream, who would it be and why? This one is super, super easy. And it might sound a little odd, but it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> when I was in my late teens, I was like in the 80s and 90s. He did a lot of super cool movies. Total Recall, The Running Man, um, Predator. I love those action adversity movies. I really, really do. But in real life, Arnold Schwarzenegger came to America knowing no English, no one to contact. He didn't have any money. He just came here. He wanted to be a part of America and he followed his dreams. And imagine all the adversity that he went through. I actually read one of his, um, it wasn't 
a biography that he wrote. It was like, I forget what kind of biographies they call it. When somebody else wrote about his life. I mean, yeah, there are times when he was a jerk, but <laughs> not that part. But the part where he actually had the confidence to come to a new country, no, didn't know the language, didn't know any person. And he achieved so much by coming here. And he just kept pushing and kept pushing and he was determined. And he had all this confidence and oh, it's just, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, when I was a teenager, I wanted to be Rambo. That's, I mean, people, people, the character of Rambo is what I like a lot. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, can you believe it, me? Number four, if you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? I used to do this all the time. I would imagine a wish. Now, this is a wish that I had for the longest time. If I could have a wish granted, I would wish for a magic wallet. And inside this wallet would be, well, back then, there used to be a $1 bill, a $2 bill, a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill, and a $50 bill, and a $100 bill. <laughs> One of each bill. In Canada, we don't have the $1 or $2 bill anymore. Our lowest bill is a $5. But anyways, beside the point. And my wish was that every time I pulled out a bill, another one would magically appear like be in his place so basically it was an endless wallet with endless money no matter what i pulled out it'd be there'd be another bill inside um so that was one of my wishes another wish of mine if i could have is that i would really really want to build a house on our land we own 32 acres of pristine wilderness the only thing there is a road leading in and then turn around. But um, I would wish to have the funds in a way to build a permanent all year round house there. Um, it'll probably never come true because honestly, the prices of everything is skyrocketed. We'd have to clear the land. We'd have to build a foundation. We'd have to find an RTM ready to move home or mobile, even that. We'd have to pay to get delivered. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We'd have to pay to get like the, a water tank, a water, or like a water or a well. We'd have to have like a steward tank brought in. You'd even would have to have power coming in like hydro. Our power in Manitoba's hydro power, and we'd have to pay to bring in electricity. And so much work, so expensive. And then once we get the RTM onto the foundation, you have to pay people to hook up the water, electricity, and sewer, like all the plumbing. And oh, it'd be so expensive. I don't have that kind of money, but we would definitely would be able to get an off-grid cabin on there. So, I mean, there's no land cleared right now, but um, there is enough room on the turnaround where uh, a mini cabin could be plunked. So that's what I would wish for. And my third wish is that um, I always used to wish to win the lottery seat, so it has to do with money, <laughs> but... Um, my third wish, if I could have a realistic wish, it would be that, um, that I would get a permanent contract for my teaching. <laughs> okay, glasses on. Last question. If you could swap lives with any fictional character for a week, who would it be? <laughs> um... Rebecca actually said, she said, um, she mentioned 
that she loves her life and everything and so do i i really i wouldn't swap lives with anyone but say if i could swap a week with a fictional character i would totally choose um ellen ripley <laughs> from aliens alien alien aliens 3 aliens resurrection sigourney reaver plays ellen ripley <sighs> that would be really cool <laughs> that that would be really cool so yeah <laughs> anyways here's poppy and i isn't she beautiful i should show you like i haven't really like she she came with a lot of wonderful clothes but I'll just show you her so here's her onesie i mean i love how aaron made like put on these patches and this she's on the cuddle body but like i love it and so Here's her back. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Well, here. I'll put you up on the change table. Oh, she's so beautiful. So, look how beautiful. Like, let's see. Let's see what? She is so pretty. I love, and you should have seen her, um, Regney Anne's that she made. So here's her cheek. Here's her other sign. And this is a wig. And I put this on her many years ago. Oh, under her wig and her hair. I never took this out. This yellow bow in her hair has always been there because I love it. She's so beautiful. Don't you love her? But yeah, I mean, look at her, um, her cloth body. It has a patchwork here and a patchwork here. And, oh, I have a Wonder Wafer inside of her. Don't you just, I love Poppy so much. Aaron, if you're watching me, if you ever make, like, a Raggedy Ann, I would love to add, like, look, that's Raggedy Ann. I mean, Strawberry and Shirking on her. Oh, I forgot, you know what? Um, when she first came to me, <clears throat> she smelled of strawberries. So you know how people have these wonder wafers? Well, she had a strawberry one and she put it inside. But that was, like, she's so, like, Poppy here is very old. I purchased her many, many years ago. I think, like, in 2016, maybe, or 17. 17 of the latest. But... She is so pretty. Anyways, um, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. And Rebecca, again, I love all your tags. Please do more. They're really interesting. Um, I used to do my own tags years and years ago. I haven't in a long, long time. That's okay. I love doing other people's and sharing their videos with my viewers. So news guys, have a great day. Again, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, very, very soon. Bye guys, love you. Bye guys, my time. Bye guys.